be part of what we're doing here at WBONTV.com and advertise with us, email us at information at WBONTV.com or send us a message on Facebook or Twitter. Our video stories now have over a million organic views and over a million people reached organically. Get watched, get noticed, get Richmond's very own. WBONTV.com. From the studios of WBONTV.com, I'm Marissa Hempel and this is your Wednesday afternoon news brief. The Madison County Sheriff's Office is once again receiving complaints of an unknown male representing himself as a deputy and asking for money due to missed jury duty. The Sheriff's Office reiterates that all of these calls are a scam. The number provides a recording stating that you've reached the Madison County Sheriff's Department, but it's not associated with their office. Deputies remind that it is not standard operating procedure to call and solicit money due to warrants or any criminal complaint at all. If you receive one of these calls, do not provide any money or personal information and contact the Sheriff's Office. In honor of the anniversary of D-Day and the invasion of Normandy, WBONTV.com compiled multiple interviews with veterans from the Second World War. Be sure to go to our website, Twitter, and Facebook to catch the moving interviews from the brave veterans that were over there during the infamous invasion. An explosion in Georgetown led to a house fire and resulted in one death this morning. The incident was sparked around 2 a.m. near Payne's Depot Road and nearby homes incurred a bit of heat damage in the process. Luckily, the initial fire was contained quickly, but a deceased victim, according to officials, was discovered in the home. The identity of the death has yet to be released. Just before midnight last night, a semi-driver had to be pulled from his vehicle after his truck and another collided in Madison County, resulting in a fire. The wreck occurred near Meyer Point 90 on northbound I-75. The driver had to be removed from the cab, according to witnesses, as it caught fire. The road was completely blocked and did not reopen until this morning. The driver only suffered minor injuries. Attorney General Andy Bashir today announced the six Kentucky counties to undergo independent inquiries for any potential irregularities that may have occurred during the May 22nd primaries. The counties were randomly drawn by Bashir and include Bullitt, Jessamine, Owen, Powell, Rowan, and Scott counties. And finally, a former Berea police officer that was arrested after a 2015 standoff with police has been denied probation. 61-year-old Harold Hill fired several shots at Kentucky State Police when he barricaded himself in his home and held hostages. Hill was charged with seven counts of attempted murder of a police officer and got three years for wanton endangerment. No one was injured in the standoff. For more stories such as these, be sure to visit Richmond's very own WBONTV.com. I'm Marissa Hempel.